Today I'm on this beautiful island named Borkum and I am ready to explore. So let's get into this story time series that may or may not be true. So let's go back in time to when being a 25 year old woman was old enough to call a 26 year old man a baby, yet young enough to get carded on the regular, but it was never nothing to slap that ID on the counter like the coldest ace of spades you've ever seen. You're 25, you know everything, right? Well, that's how, mm, let's call her Shay felt. Keep it cute, Shay was not one of them at the fuck all. Couldn't catch her slipping if she was on ice. Shay was the one, two, and three, and everyone knew it. Oh, to be 25 in the summertime. The possibilities were endless. She had the same objective every year, and that was to stay highly favored and baby free. The summertime could provide some of your best memories or your worst nightmares, but for Shay, it was always nothing to come out on top. Never looking for anything serious in the summertime, Shay played the field as a single woman and enjoyed watching as men would try and fail to tie her down. You know the saying, never say never? Well, Shay stood firmly on her never and evers, and so far, she was doing good. It's you thinking you gonna have me looking super stupid like your girl for me, Shay calmly explained to a guy from the area that was known for keeping his girl crying in the car, yet had the dusty ass idea that he would try his luck with a woman like Shay. Hanging around guys will teach you things that you want and don't want to know about men, and Shay kept the front row seat to the madness all year long. Unlike many others, Shay had a male best friend that was truly just a friend. Let's call him Jay. Jay was a longtime friend of Shay's from when she was much younger. Jay was the big brother that she never asked for or wanted, yet here he was being overprotective and annoying for no damn reason at all. Jay was a cool, calm, and collected type of guy, and he had a car, so that was a plus, plus, plus for Shay who was, let's say, in between transportation at the time. You always felt the bass beating through the streets before you saw Jay or his car. Why the fuck you out here with your whole ass hanging out, yelled Jay as he turned his music down pulling up to Shay's house. Why the fuck you looking, shouted Shay as she rolled her eyes, grabbed her purse and sunglasses off the porch steps, and walked to his car. You still got that smart ass mouth, I see. I was hoping since you've been drinking more water, you would have washed that smart ass mouth away, Jay said as they pulled off. Don't you worry about it, asshole. I know somebody that like it, Shay replied as she opened Jay's bottle of water. Jay loved the fire that was Shay, but Jay's girl on the other hand, well, that's a different story. Do you know how careless it is to get in a car with someone and you don't know where you're going, asked Jay. Shay laughed. <laughs> Sir, this you we talking about. But for real, where are we going? We going to the lake to meet up with some of my homies. For what, asked Shay. Just the fuck because, responded Jay. Now who has the smart ass mouth, Shay replied as they pulled into the beach's parking area. Old school Chevys with the rim sitting right with music blasting full of bass filled the area they were in. The snowball man was out and the smell of barbecue filled the air as Shay felt the warm breeze wrap around her thighs as the waves crashed against the rocks. Shay got out the car and stretched as Jay surveyed the area and they both began to walk towards Jay's friends. Don't do the fucking most tonight, Shay, said Jay. What the fuck does that mean, asked Shay. Jay took a deep breath. <sighs> These guys not the type of guys you should be messing with in any way. The fuck, muttered Shay. So you trying to spoil my fun, huh? You want to be my daddy so damn bad, but you're not, so don't tell me what to do, Shay replied. The drinks and green seemed endless as the day turned into the evening then night. Shay didn't know what was better, the summer days or the summer nights. All she knew was that she was feeling right and it was time to play. Shay leaned against one of the Chevys as she finished her drink while scrolling on Instagram. So you just gonna lean on my ride and not tell me your name? A deep voice whispered in her ear. 
Shay looked up to slowly discover that the voice matched the body too damn well. Shit, my apologies. My name is Shay. Let's go, yelled Jay from across the parking lot. That's your man? Asked the guy. That's a man, and he ain't man, said Shay. Mm. Let me get your number then. Shay quickly gave him her number as she walked off towards Jay. Okay, let's go, said Shay. Nah, I ain't ready to go, said Jay. Uh, why the fuck you say let's go then? Mm, I don't know. As Jay laid back on the hood of his car and admired the stars. Shay sighed as she looked back just in time to see her possible new friend pull away. Shay shook her head as she crawled onto the hood with Jay and they both laid back and watched the stars. You drunk as fuck, Jay, and you was talking so much shit about me doing the most today. Shay reached inside Jay's pocket to get his car keys because clearly he was not driving unless the plans were to be in somebody's emergency room, which it definitely was the fuck not. Jay grabbed Shay's hand while it was in his pocket. Jay, let my hand go so I can get the keys, yelled Shay. Jay pulled Shay closer and whispered in her ear, and what if I don't? Shay looked at Jay and began to laugh. Right then, Jay gently grabbed Shay around her neck and pulled her even closer as he pressed his soft lips against hers. Jay, what the fuck, Shay yelled as she pushed him back. Shay never, ever thought some shit like this would happen. You're drunk as fuck. Jay, let's go. As Shay began to crawl down off the hood of the car, Jay sat up, gently grabbed Shay around her waist and pulled her back up onto the hood of the car closer to him. Jay held Shay's face less than an inch from his as he looked into her eyes and said, I said I'm not ready to go. Shay slowly shook her head in agreement as Jay again slowly kissed Shay under the moonlit stars. Only this time, Shay didn't push him back.